हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास स्टूडेंट्स इन चैप्टर फ्रैक्शंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन मीनिंग ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस एंड हाउ टू राइट इट टुडे आई विल डिस्कस विद यू टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस नंबर वन इज यूनिट फ्रैक्शन एज इट्स नेम डिपिक्स यूनिट यूनिट मीनिंग वन सो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ यूनिट फ्रैक्शन इज अ फ्रैक्शन विच हैज वन एज द न्यूमिनेटर इज कॉल्ड अ यूनिट फ्रैक्शन स्टूडेंट्स एज आई I have already discussed with you numerator meaning the number above the line or upper number. Now, what is unit fraction? A fraction in which upper number or the number above the line is one. That fraction is called a unit fraction. For example, one upon two, one upon three. One upon eight, one upon nine, etc. Now, students, you can see in each of these fractions, numerator is one. The number above the line is one. That means these fractions are unit fractions. Let's understand it with the help of figures. now students tell me in this circle how many total parts are there total parts are 2 1 and 2 so total parts are 2 and out of these two parts how many parts are shaded one part that means out of 2 one part is shaded now let's move to the next figure how many total parts are there 1 2 3 and 4 total parts are 4 and out of these four parts how many parts are shaded one part that means out of four parts one part is shaded now let's move to the next example now let's count the total number of parts of the circle 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 total parts are Eight, and out of eight parts, how many parts are shaded? One part. That means one part is shaded. Now, students, you can see here, numerator is one for each figure. So, these figures show unit fractions. Now. Let's move to the other fraction. Number two type is proper fraction, and the definition of proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. That means upper number will be less than the lower number. the number that is above the line will be smaller and the number below the line will be greater now for example 2 upon 8 3 upon 5 7 upon 9 etc now students you can see here numerator that is 2 
is less than denominator that is 8. 2 is less than 8 that means this fraction is proper fraction. Now in the same way 3 that is numerator is less than 5 that is denominator 3 is less than 5 that means this is a proper fraction. In the next example 7, 7 is less than 9 that means numerator is smaller and denominator is greater. So that means this these all fractions are proper fractions. Let's understand it with the help of figures. Now students tell me how many total parts are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4 that means total parts are 4 and out of 4 parts how many parts are shaded? 1 and 2. Now let's move to the other figure. Now count the total number of parts of this figure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. That means total number of parts are 8. And how many parts are shaded? 1, 2 and 3. That means 3 parts are shaded. Let's move to the next example. How many total parts are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Total parts are 4. And how many parts are shaded? 1, 2 and 3. And 3 parts are shaded. Now students, you can see in each example, numerator is less than the denominator. Here 2 is numerator and 2 is less than 4. In this example, 3 is numerator and 3 is less than 8. In this example, 3 is the numerator and 3 is less than 4. That means these all are proper fractions. Next type is improper fraction. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator is called an improper fraction. That means numerator will be greater or equal to the denominator. Students, in proper fraction, numerator was less than denominator. And in improper fraction, numerator will be greater or equal to the denominator. For example, Eight upon two, five upon three, nine upon seven, three upon three, etc. Now, students, you can see here numerator is greater than denominator. For example, in eight upon two, eight is numerator, and two is denominator. Eight is greater than two. In the next example. 5 upon 3, 5 is numerator and 3 is denominator and 5 is greater than 3. And one more case was there. If numerator and denominator are equal, for example, 3 upon 3. Here numerator is 3 and denominator is also 3. Then also this type of fraction is called improper fraction. Students, suppose I want to draw a figure in which denominator is 4 and numerator is 7. Now, as I have, I have already told you, 
denominator tells us total number of parts. That means first of all we will draw one circle and we will divide that circle into four equal parts. Now numerator tells us the number of parts that we have to do shading. Now here seven parts are there. First of all I have done shading of four parts but I need seven parts. So again I will draw one more circle and four parts I have already shaded. In this circle I will shading three parts one two and three. Now total parts are one two three four five six and seven. Students that means improper fraction tells us seven one fourth in eight upon two it means eight one halves in five upon three it will tell tells us five one third now next type is mixed fraction a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction. Students, now in this type of fraction, one number will be whole number and one fraction will be combined. For example, 2 and 3 fifths, 4 and 2 seventh, etc. Now, Let's understand it with the help of figure. Here, this is one complete circle. That means, one is the whole number. In the next circle, total parts are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Total parts are 4. And how many parts are shaded? 1, 2 and 3. Three parts are shaded. Next type is like fractions. Like meaning same fractions. Now what is the definition of like fractions? Fractions having the same denominator are called like fractions. Denominator meaning the number below the line will be same. For example, 2 upon 7, 8 upon 7, 9 upon 7, 13 upon 7, etc. Now students, see, here denominator is 7, 7, 7 and 7. That means these fractions are like fractions because denominators are same. Let's understand it with the help of figures. Now, in the first figure, how many total parts are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Total parts are 4. And how many parts are shaded? 2. So, numerator is 2. In the next figure, how many total parts are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Total parts are Four. And how many parts are shaded? 1, 2 and 3. In the next figure, how many total parts are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. And how many parts are shaded? 1 part. So, fraction is 1 upon 4. Next type is unlike fractions. Now, Students, in case of like fractions, denominators were equal. See, 2 upon 4, 3 upon 4, 1 upon 4. Here, denominator is same. In case of unlike fractions, denominator will be different. So, the definition of unlike fractions is, fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. In these type of fractions, denominators are different. For example, 3 upon 5, 
टू अपॉन सेवन फोर अपॉन नाइन एटसेट्रा हेयर डिनोमिनेटर्स आर डिफरेंट इन द फर्स्ट फिगर हाउ मेनी टोटल पार्ट्स आर देयर वन टू थ्री एंड फोर टोटल पार्ट्स आर फोर एंड हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स आर शेडेड टू पार्ट्स आर शेडेड इन द नेक्स्ट फिगर हाउ मेनी टोटल पार्ट्स आर देयर टू पार्ट्स एंड हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स आर शेडेड वन पार्ट इन द नेक्स्ट फिगर हाउ मेनी टोटल पार्ट्स आर देयर लेट्स काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट टोटल पार्ट्स आर एट एंड हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स आर शेडेड वन एंड टू नाउ स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन सी हेयर डिनोमिनेटर्स आर डिफरेंट सो दैट मीन्स दीज आर Unlike fractions, so students, today we have learned types of fractions. I hope now you are able to do the related homework that we have sent to you in your SNAP homework. But students, before starting the homework, please go through the YouTube links that are mentioned in your SNAP homework. Have a nice day. Thank you.